social network, your Facebook, for fitness enthusiasts. So people can no longer just look at ads and say, I want to look like this guy, this guy. You can be inspired by this person and interact with them. Find out exactly what worked for them. Talk to them. You know, and, and if, it, if there's struggles that they went through that you can relate to, then that's even better because not everyone's going to relate to me. You know, people say, oh, it's okay. You know, it, he can get supplements whenever he wants. He's at bodybuilding.com or something like that. But within this book and within body space, there's people from all walks of life. You know, there's people that you may you may not know from the book or from body space. That have just gone from extremes that you may not relate to. You've got Furious Pete. He calls himself Furious Pete because he was suffering with anorexia. He went to hospital. He almost died because of this condition. But then, when he left the hospital, he decided he was going to go online and see if he could find anything for his condition that could help him rehab himself. He didn't want to admit so much to his friend or, or talk to people about it because he was embarrassed with this condition. So he went online, called himself Curious Pete, so he didn't have to show his identity, so to speak, and find out from the forums on, on, on bodybuilding.com and talk to people who had also had anorexia and overcome this condition. So then he was starting to educate himself, interact with his people, and progress. And now if you look at him, we drive the guy is in amazing shape. He looks absolutely fantastic. Not only that, he's a world champion eater. Gone from anorexia to a world champion competitive eater, Peter, and he looks great. Again, another extreme uh, condition, you know, not everyone can relate to, but there's profiles out there for everybody to look and feel who crave the way they want to you have. What's your goal? Do you have a goal or what was your goal five years ago? Five years ago, five or ten years ago was to win the Australian title. It took me twelve years to win it, but I won it. Yeah. And then uh, from that, it was to become a world champion. That then, I gave myself a 10 year goal for that. That took five years. Okay. Not everyone can focus like Murray, he's a bit of a freak, you know? <laughs> So, Scott, what, what's your goal? What, what has been your goal? <laughs> um, same as Murray, I haven't quite done that one. Uh, to win the other title, I'm close, one's a title. Um, but to uh, get the medal at the 2012 Royal Power. Great. So that's like a long-term goal. What about a short-term goal? Short-term goal is uh, next weekend to break all the Australian raw powerlifting records at the comp, the first comp of the year. So that's been because I've just brought raw in this year, so that focused on that one since the comp last year, so for the last four months. That was okay. Sorry, I'm just watching. Yeah. Max, what about you? Physical goal. Physical goal. Physical goal. Physical goal. Physical goal. Physical goal.
because there's so many other things that you can accomplish from that. Not just things like that mentally, but obviously, you know, there are physical conditions as well. Maybe it's you want to control your diabetes. Maybe it's your osteoarthritis, you want to prevent osteoarthritis. So these are other goals that you should be focusing on. Those are your limitless goals. And as I mentioned, that flows into your opportunities. Your opportunities are to be a better husband, to have more energy, to feel more confident, to look better, to feel better. So you need to combine those both. And as weaknesses, whatever your weaknesses are, that's what you need to put down. Whether it's the cheesecake, whether it's eating bacon, you know, whether it's you know, your, 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 your cardio or something like that, you need to put those weaknesses down. So everybody should always start with a flow chart to keep you on track. It'll help you keep, it, keep accountable and you're going to put yourself in a position to realize real life obstacles as well. Because they all come up, they always do. Nobody can go through this plane sailing. A lot of people do throughout the week, come the weekend, it all goes out the window. So that's where you really need to focus on the upcoming weekend, to focus during the week as much. Prepare or prepare yourself to fail. So then we move into the four pillars of power.